Hey, Gold Digger, welcome back to another episode of Hashtag Get Lit, where we crush your business in less than 10 minutes. So for today's episode, we're going to talk about the best algorithm hacks for 2020. I have seen such a, a huge growth in my account and it has steadily grown over the last couple of years, but this year it is just blown up. I can't believe the growth that I've experienced and I thought, I've gotta be able, I've gotta share this with you guys. So we're gonna dive in today exactly what algorithm is, how to create a healthy account, and the three biggest things I want you to focus on for 2020, stay tuned. Diggers, for this episode of The Gold Digger Girl, we're going to talk about the best algorithm hacks for 2020. If you don't know what algorithm is, if you don't know how to get your account rocking, if you're posting and praying, you're getting crickets, you're just like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, then this episode is for you, okay? So first off, let's talk about what algorithm is because I find when I teach on this, a lot of people have no clue. So I want you to think of algorithm as it's a rating that your account has. I'm specifically going to talk about Facebook right now, but you can use this for Instagram. You can use it for TikTok. At the time of this recording, we've been working on algorithm on my Pinterest account and just uh, just got to, I didn't look at this today, but 450,000 monthly uh, visitor views. We're blowing up my Pinterest by implementing these amazing algorithm hacks. So it's a little bit different on that platform, but the principles apply. So you can use this for anything. So algorithm is the rating that your account has. So Facebook, for example, has little bots that are just constantly checking things out, deciding if your post is good, deciding if it should show it to your news feed. Is the content you're sharing original? Is it relevant? All of those things come into play. And when you are consistently showing up, which is what we're going to talk about, when you are starting to understand how to engage with your audience, how to create content that people actually want, your algorithm is going to go through the roof, through the roof. So if you're new on Facebook and you're just getting started, your algorithm rating is going to be pretty low. So no one really knows what the algorithm uh, algorithms are, by the way, it's proprietary. And of course, Facebook's not going to let anyone know about that. But let's say it's a scale of zero to hundred. When you're new, you're going to have a really low number, but as time goes on, that algorithm is going to climb up. So have you ever gone onto your Facebook and you're just like always seeing the same people in your stories? they have a strong algorithm, or you're always seeing certain people in your post first, they have a strong algorithm. And it can also impact your suggested friends list. So as your algorithm grows, you'll be the one that's suggested to other as friends. This is how you'll know your algorithm's on point. One day, if you're consistent and follow what I'm gonna teach you right now, you're gonna pull up your phone in the morning and you're gonna have 50, 100 friend requests overnight. And you're gonna think, oh my gosh, did somebody hack into my account? No, I always check and I'll message a few to make sure uh, this is what I did when it happened to me a couple years ago, but I have students do this too. Message a few of them just to say, hey, I, you know, just checking, did you send this friend request? I just want to make sure it was you and, and you'll get different answers and you'll know that it's real. And that's because you have beat the algorithm. That means that you are showing up as a suggested friend to others, which is huge because it takes time to manually friend request and build that up. But if you can get people reaching out to you, that's unlimited, okay? All right, so I've got three things I want you to focus on. The first thing is I want you to be consistent. I want you to be consistent. I can't tell you how many times when I do a social media audit, Instagram audit, some kind of review, working with a client just to kind of see what's going on in their social media, they are so inconsistent. It is like an epidemic, okay? So if you really want to do this, you really want to build your business on social media or from your cell phone, then you have to show up every day, okay? It doesn't always have to be like that. I used to go live three times a week on Facebook, and now I go live once a week consistently, and sometimes I even pre-record and live stream if I'm traveling. But I earned that, right? I was first showing up three times a week because I knew I needed to be present. I needed to be visible. I needed to get in front of my audience as much as possible. So you will want to be consistent. I recommend posting once to two times a day on Facebook. If you have a really, really good post, leave it alone by itself for the day. But if you want to start to just, again, get in front of people more consistently, twice a day is fine. No more than that. Don't post too often because then you're that person that is annoying and people will unfollow you, okay? But once a day is good on Instagram and as many times as you can in your stories, okay? I have tons of trainings on stories on the, um, so you can, you can look at, at the other episodes on that, okay? 
Be consistent, make it a part of your DMO, your daily method of operations, just something that you do, okay? Number two is be engaging. So when you first post on Facebook or Instagram, the algorithm is gonna decide within about 30 minutes, maybe an hour, if it's going to push that post out into your newsfeed. So what it does first is like a little micro test and it puts it just in front of some people and it's kind of seeing if people are gonna grab the bait for the post, right? Are people commenting? Are they reacting? Are they liking it? Are they sharing it? Like, are they interacting with the post at all? If you start to get some traction on it, then it will, it'll push it out in front of your whole newsfeed and that's how you really get a post going crazy. If, you, if it's a really good engaging one, it will actually go viral, which means as long as your account's on public and make sure it is, by the way, uh, I would put your whole entire account on public. It will go viral when other people start seeing it. So friends of friends will see it and that's how you'll get you know, 50, 100, 200, 300 comments. The most I think I've gotten is maybe 600 comments on my profile, on my wall on Facebook, okay? So that's what we're talking about is creating engaging posts. Ask questions, um, say to people, you know, um, oh, actually I have a board for you guys. So let me make a note of that site. I remember to put that right here, be engaging. I have my uh, most engaging posts of 2020 for you. I put them together in a Trello board and they work, okay? There's example posts in there, there's questions to ask. You will get so much traction on your post, you're gonna wonder why you didn't do it before. People come onto social media to connect, be inspired, be educated and be entertained. So do those things and pay attention to what's working. What is your audience responding to? You're a marketer. You need to think like a marketer as well. Okay. And then the third thing is to reciprocate. So one of the mistakes that marketers make is that they don't reciprocate. They don't love on other people's content. So when someone comments on your post, pay attention to that, go over to their profile and go like their stuff, comment on their stuff. If they view your stories, go check out their stories. If they watch your Facebook live, watch theirs. If they go live, reciprocate. That's how you can start to build a new relationship with a new follower. And they will notice that because 90% of people don't do that. So you're going to stand out by doing that. You can even go as far as just to thank them. If they watched your Facebook live message them and say, Hey, I've been watching your post. I love what I'm seeing. You know, it looks like whatever you're seeing, you know, it looks like it's super positive. You're also an entrepreneur as well. And a mom, we have a lot in common. Thank you so much for watching my Facebook live. Um, what caught your attention on it or are you also uh, you know, building a business and excited about setting goals? Whatever the topic is, but thank them. Shoot them a private personal message and it's make it real. Don't be a spammer. Don't copy and paste messages. Go on their profile, see what they're all about and bring up stuff so that they know you've seen them, okay? Because most people don't actually see other people. They just treat them like a number, okay? So you have to reciprocate that love. And when you do that, you're going to be just blown away at what it does for your algorithm because Facebook and Instagram love interaction. They love seeing all of that happening because that's why they created it. And it's called social media for a reason to be social. Okay. So obviously if you love on those people, just do it, be consistent with it, be engaging and love on your followers and your audience and reciprocate. And you just watch what's going to happen to your business. Okay, so I hope that was helpful to be able to get your algorithm rocking, to get your engagement um, to be amazing. Follow these three steps and watch your business transform. And, you know, also, if you like this video, please subscribe. Like, that means the world to me. Hit the bell to get notified. I release new, uh, new to YouTube videos twice a week, and I don't want you to miss any of them. And also, if you take a screenshot of this, throw it into your stories on Instagram and tag me at the Gold Digger Girl, and I will give you a special shout out. So I so appreciate you. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, get lit in your business and set your soul on fire. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.